records. Class is set to. All right. So again, we're going to be using weights, but you can feel free to put them down, pick them up, not use them at all. And we're going to add, we're going to incorporate in coordination with the weights, right? So right brain, left brain, mind, body, brain, body connections, right? That's what it's about. Okay, so start standing with our feet comfortably under our hips, toes pointed forward. Good lifting tall through the spine, letting our shoulders relax. So we'll drop. So we just find our alignment here. And we'll start by lifting with our palms facing um, our body, right? We're gonna start by lifting up our heels as we inhale and floating our arms up, however high they go. And exhaling back down. So start with breathing and sort of grounding in, right? Inhale as we lift the heels and exhale lower. Face your palms forward, same thing. Lift the heels on the inhale and exhale down. Really nice full breath, integrating with our movement as we lift and lower. Face your palms away from you and lift, inhale up. So the palms, your hands face away from your hips. Exhale down. Your arms are turned out. Inhale, lift. Good. Nice full breath. Exhale, lower. Great. And then go ahead and bring your arms out and into a goal post. And we're going to let our left arm drop down by our side. Just to kind of give you the idea, we're going to turn our right knee in a little bit. We're going to lift the leg as we reach our arm up. And we're going to circle the leg out as our arm circles out and down. And then the left arm and goal post. Turn that left knee in. You're going to circle it and lift as your arm lifts, which I can't do very well, and float that arm back down. And again, right side. Turn in, circle the knee as the arm goes out. Circle the knee as the arm goes out. And now opposite. So the right knee, left arm, left knee, right arm. That knee doesn't want to lift. And again, left arm, right knee. So we're doing opposite, right? Back to same side. Right knee, right arm. Don't think about it too much. Left. <laughs> Breathe. Turn in, lift up, circle out and down. And one more time, opposite. Right knee, left arm. Oh, this will wake us up, right? <laughs> left knee, right arm. Right knee, left arm. And left knee, right arm. Good. All right, that gets your brain a little bit woken up. You can relax, bring your arms back into go pose. <laughs> so we're gonna um, feel like our arms and our back are up against a wall and just bring your arms in front of you together. As you inhale, press into that invisible wall on your exhale. So open our back, inhale, arms together and we squeeze our shoulder blades together as we pull our arms back. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale, arms forward, squeeze. Exhale, press into that wall. Leave your arms here, and you're gonna slide your arms up that invisible wall and slide them back down. Good, so really feel like you're sliding up a wall. Inhale and exhale. Good. And keeping our head lifted. Inhale and exhale. Now keep your arms here, right forearm parallel to the floor, and lift. Left arm, forearm parallel to the floor, and lift. So internal rotation of our shoulder, the right arm, and open. Left arm, 
and open. One more, one each side, right arm and lift, left arm forward and lift. Stay here, inhale tall, exhale twist. And back to center, inhaling tall, exhale twist. And center two more. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, tall, exhale, twist. And center, straighten your arms, float them down by your side, take them out, bend the knees a little bit and lean slightly forward with your back flat arms by your legs. And you're just gonna lift your arms up behind you and release back down. So keeping, your head lifted, your back flat, just a little bit of a lean forward. We're getting into our triceps a little bit. So lift and release, lift and release. Good, and lift and stay there. Try to pulse your hands towards each other. Just a tiny little pulse. Good. And then release, let your arms relax. Right arm sweeps forward, left arm sweeps back and switch and switch. So we're lifting our arms as we sweep forward and back. Breathe. Good, last one, and then we can let our arms relax and stand back up. All right, we're gonna come to the end of our mat or wherever you wanna be. And you might hold on to your weights, help you roll down here, inhale, exhaling as we roll down, letting head, shoulders, arms relax and hang and bend and straighten your knees and just let yourself hang here, relaxing the head if you can. And then with our knees slightly bent, we're gonna stack our spine up. So the weights will really help us get that stretch, right? If we're holding onto them by weighting our arms as we stack back up. And then we'll roll down again. Inhale, exhale, roll back down. And we're hanging here. You can just put your weights um, next to your mat if you want to release them. And we'll walk our hands away from our feet into pike, spreading fingers wide, lifting our tailbone, letting our body just move around a little bit as we stretch our heels down. Relaxing our head and neck. And then maybe finding our hands and feet a little farther apart from each other, lowering down a little bit more or all the way into plank. Just taking a couple breaths here. And we'll lower down to the mat slowly or bring your knees under you. <laughs> Good. And um, come around to your back. And I mentioned you can have different kinds of weights if you have them. We want weights that roll. You might also have weights that don't roll that you might like to use. So come on to your back. Have our feet close to our hips. Arms by our side. I'm gonna scooch myself down a little bit. Okay, take a nice deep breath here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna peel off the mat one vertebra at a time, leading with our tailbone. Great, and on our inhale, we're gonna take our arms up to the ceiling, take them slowly back behind us and relax our arms. 
And we're going to exhale down one vertebra at a time. As our pelvis lowers, we inhale, lift the arms, and then exhale, curl up and reach by our legs. And then lifting the arms, we lie back down, take our arms over our head as we inhale, exhale, peel off the mat. So we're going to do this little combo, right? Inhale, exhale, articulate back down. As our pelvis comes down, we lift our arms up on inhale, and then we curl up on our exhale. And then lift the arms, lay back down, slowly back, inhaling, exhale, peel off the mat. Good, inhale, exhale, bridge down. One vertebra at a time, inhaling arms up, exhale, curl up and reach. And again, lifting, inhaling as we go back and exhaling as we bridge on up. Good, inhale at the top of our bridge, melting our spine down on our exhale. And then inhale, lift the arms, exhale, curl up. And you're going to stay here, reaching by your legs. Take your right arm over to your left arm. So tap your weights and bring it back. Take your left arm over to your right arm. Tap and bring it back. Reaching as we bring it over. So only our shoulders come and part of our back comes off the ground. Right? And then just the top half of our back. We don't want to pull ourselves over to the side. So you're going to tap and bring it center and bring it across and tap and bring it center and bring it across and center. One more. And center. Lie back down. Relax your arms by your side. You might need to adjust your feet closer to your hips. We're going to bring our arms to the ceiling here and find your neutral pelvis. So that means you'll feel your rib cage and your hips on the mat, but you'll feel a small curvature of your spine. Your low back will not probably be touching the mat. You're going to hold that steady and you're just going to lift your hips a couple inches off the ground. So just float them up two or three inches. Hold. So inhale. As you exhale, float your right foot. As you take your right arm, just slightly back, not too far, just a little bit. And then inhale, bring everything back. Exhale, float your left foot as you take your left arm slightly back. They move in the same direction. Inhale down. Again, exhale, right arm, right leg. Inhale, return. Exhale, left arm, left leg. Inhale, return. Now opposite, right leg, left arm. Float and reach and bring it back. Left leg, right arm. So don't move the arm and leg too much. These are small movements, opposite. Right arm, leg, left arm and return. Left leg, right arm and return. Go ahead and stay here. Lower your hips down, relax your pelvis. We're gonna let our left knee open out to the side as our left arm opens out to the side by our, just straight out from our shoulder. Now slide your left leg straight down the mat, keeping that knee open and then slide it back in. So you really open our hip here and then we lift our knee and our arm together. Open your right arm and knee out to the side. Slide your leg down the mat, keeping that knee open out to the side. Slide it back in and lift arm and leg up. Now opposite, opening the, the right leg and the left arm. Hold the other side steady. Slide your right leg down. Slide it back in and lift up. And open your left knee and right arm. 
Slide that leg down. Slide back in and lift up. Open both knees and both arms. Arms on the ground, let your legs relax here. Let your hips relax. Maybe your feet wanna to touch each other. Connect your feet together. Good, inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna float our hips up a little bit. Just a couple inches, taking a breath here. Good, and exhale down. So relax your hips, relax your knees. Lift your knees, lift your arms back up. Put your legs together, sway your knees over to the right, take your arms to the left. And lift everything back to the top. Take your knees to the left, arms to the right. Good. And back to the top. A little twisty here. Side to side, knees to the right, arms to the left. And lift. Shoulders relax. Knees to the left, arms to the right. And lift off. When you come back to the top, Go ahead and make your, bring your heels in line with your sits bones again. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. As we exhale, find your neutral pelvis. Float your right leg. Reach your right arm back. Again, not too far. Inhale that foot down. Hold your pelvis still, nice and still as you float your left leg and your right arm, left arm reaches back. See if I can talk. Okay, inhale back down. So same side, arm and leg. Right leg, right arm and bring it back, holding the pelvis still, left arm and left leg, bring it back. Now opposite, right leg, left arm, and return. Left leg, right arm, and return. It's really not too much of a, too much work, it's more coordination and holding our pelvis steady. Left leg, right arm, good, and return. Great, now bring both legs one at a time into tabletop. You can go ahead and let your back imprint into the mat. So we wanna feel our whole spine on the mat and you're gonna hold your right side still as you open your left leg and left arm out to the side and exhale it back to the top. And then open right leg and right arm out to the side and exhale it back. So that weight gives us some resistance, right? Inhale again, left leg and left arm out, and exhale back. And right arm and right leg out, and exhale back. And now for the opposite, right leg and left arm open, hold your other side still, exhale back. Left leg and right arm open out. Hold the other side still. Exhale back, two more. Right leg, left arm open. And exhale back. Left leg, right arm open. And exhale back. Now stay here, flex your feet, press your spine, press your low back into the mat. And we're going to reach our right leg out at an angle as we reach our right arm back, same side, get the hang of this, right? <laughs> Inhale back, and then left arm and left leg stretch out. Press your back into the mat. Inhale back, right arm, right leg stretch out away from each other. Inhale back, left arm and left leg stretch out. Inhale back. Now we're gonna go to opposite. So right leg, left arm, stretch out. This is what we're used to, right? Inhale back, left leg, right arm, stretch out. Inhale back, two more. Stretch the right leg, left arm. Inhale back, don't take the arm too far back. Remember that, reach it a little bit back and bring it back. Stay here. Open both arms and both legs. And close on your exhale. One more time, open both arms and both legs on your inhale. Exhale, close. 
Press your back into the mat. Now extend your both legs as you reach both arms a little bit back. So we make a V with our body. Exhale back. Inhale, reach, pressing your back into the mat. Exhale back. Let's do that one more time. Reach away, stretch away, and exhale back. Take a little rest, hug your knees. So I'll just say this, um, if you find it tricky to do the coordinating part, I'm doing my best to talk us through it, but if you find it tricky, if it's hard for you to hold your other side still, all that business, I would say that you really need this, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. If you find it hard, that means you really need this for your brain. Okay, reach both arms, both legs. Now hold the right leg and arm steady as you open your left arm and leg out to the side on your inhale, exhale back. So we're doing the same thing with our legs straight. Right arm, right leg opens, exhale back. Feel some resistance, right? Left arm, left leg. Feel like you're kind of squeezing this big ball as you bring your arm and leg back. Good. And then right arm, right leg. Exhale back. Now we're going to go flex. The, well, you don't have to flex your feet. You can if you want. That right leg lowers as our right arm goes back. Don't have to go too far, but just however far you're comfortable. Exhale everything back. And then left leg lowers as the left arm reaches back. Exhale back. So again, right arm, right leg. Exhale, lift. Left leg, left arm. Exhale, lift. We're switching to opposite. Right leg, left arm. Reaches away from each other. Exhale, back. Left leg, right arm, hold your other side steady. Exhale back. Two more, right leg, left arm. Keeping your whole back on the mat. Exhale back, feel your whole spine on the mat. Reach, left leg, right arm. Exhale back, stay here. Open both arms and both legs. Inhale, <laughs> exhale, lift to the top. Good, inhale, open, and exhale, close. Now press your back into the mat, lower the legs a little ways as you reach your arms back, inhaling. This is double leg stretch, right? Exhale everything back to the top. Inhale, open, arms and legs apart. Exhale, close. Really keep the whole spine on the mat. One more. Reach arms and legs away from each other. Pressing into the mat. And exhale, close it back up. Hug your knees. Relax your body. All right. I hope we're waking up now. Put your weights on top of your knees and relax the legs. We're gonna inhale. As we exhale, press hands into weights or weights into legs and legs into weights, right? And then relax. So inhaling, exhale, press. Inhale, relax, exhale, press. So we feel our tailbone lift off the mat. Inhale, relax, exhale, press. Inhale, relax, press. Get a little stretch in the low back. Engage our low belly. All right, and then just relax your body. We're gonna go ahead and bring our feet on the mat, stretch our arms over our head, stretch our legs out, and do a big body, full body stretch. So reaching through one side and the other, flexing the feet, stretch and stretch. Stretch, kind of lengthening our sides, feeling our hips and shoulders shifting up and down. And then relax everything, open your legs a little wider, open your arms out so you feel like a big X. Feet flex, take one hand over to the other arm and stretch across the body, reaching for that hand. We're gonna pull ourselves onto our side 
and then slide back open so that arm can come up to the ceiling and open back out and bring your other arm across. Stretch across. And bring ourselves onto our back. Go ahead and bring your feet back on the mat so your knees are bent. Sweep your arms down or bring your arms by your side. And we're gonna come up so you can straighten your legs to help you roll up, or you can hold on to one leg and help you roll up, or however you like to get up. <laughs> okay. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna I'm gonna take my switch to my rolling weights. Stretch your legs out in front of your hips with your weights by your legs with your hands on top, fingers on top. And then we'll just do um, a little, maybe lift the sits bones here, do a little stretch here with our weights. So inhale, as you exhale, roll the weights towards your feet. Inhale, exhale, roll them back as you start back up. Again, just roll those weights away from you. Roll them back in as you stack up. And breathe and roll them away. And roll back in. And then we'll make um, a butterfly, long legged butterfly or diamond with our legs. Put your weights next to your feet and around there. Sit tall and then roll it away. And stack back up. And roll it away. roll back in. And hopefully the weights rolling away helps us feel like we're getting a, a rolling sensation through our spine, right? And then when we stack back up, we're going to come into a straddle, but if straddles are hard for you, you can always keep this position instead. But if you can straddle your legs and you can do it, put your weights inside the legs and roll it away. And roll back in. I know some people have a hard time with that. It depends on your hips, really. And roll it away. Mostly a hip issue. <laughs> and roll it back. And breathe. And breathe. All right. And then when we come back, we're going to bring our legs into a little bit of a straddle like a narrow straddle, or like I said, feet together, long-legged butterfly, whatever you, whatever works best for you. We just wanna be able to sit tall. So sit nice and tall, bring your arms with your weights if you're using them in front of you. Oh, wait, I'm gonna switch over to these. Okay. <laughs> so lifting tall as we inhale, your knees might be bent, that's okay. Lift both arms up by your ears, really lift the spine tall, and then bring them back in front. Again, lengthen tall, lift the arms up by your ears, and then make a goal post with your arms. I think I'll turn so you can see better what we're doing. So now we're sitting with our arms in goal posts like we were standing, right? But it's harder because we're sitting and we're using our back muscles, right? So you really wanna feel like you're up against a wall and then bring your arms together and then press into that wall. Right, inhale, arms together. So it's harder to do when you're sitting because we really have to engage our back. Inhale and exhale. Stay here, pressing into that wall, slide your arms up and back down. Again, feel like you're up against a wall, slide up, slide down. See, your knees might be bent. They're probably gonna need to bend, that's good. All right. <laughs> And then with our arms in goal post, bring your right arm for, forearm parallel to the ground and lift. Left forearm parallel and lift. Same thing we did standing, right arm, something familiar, yay. Left arm, <laughs> good. And then stay here, inhale, pull, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, shoulders relaxed, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale as we grow tall, 
exhale, twist. And back to center. Go ahead and straighten the arms, let them come down and relax. Shake them out, let your body relax for a moment. <laughs> and we'll um, bring our legs into a bend with our hips in line with our spine, need rolling weights. Put your weights next to your hips. We're gonna do rollbacks with our weights so they roll with us, okay? So just hands, base of the hand on the weight. Inhale tall, as you exhale, curl your tailbone. You're gonna sort of roll your weight with your hand as you round back just to your rib cage. And then inhale, and then exhale back up. Roll the weight to come up, lift tall. Inhale, exhale, curl the tailbone under, round back. Just about to the rib cage or maybe the shoulder blades. Inhaling, exhaling back up. Lift tall. Inhale, exhale, curl the tailbone around. Inhale, exhale, coming up as we roll the weight. And then you can relax, take your weights in front of you. More, more of that same side, opposite side stuff, okay? <laughs> so inhale, exhale, curl the tailbone and just come back to your sacrum or so, so you feel like you can stay there, curling that tailbone under, lift your right arm, right leg and lower. Left arm, left leg and lower again really curl the tailbone under right arm right leg and down left arm left leg and down switch to opposite right leg left arm and lower left leg right arm and lower right leg left arm left leg right arm and lower and come up wasn't so hard all right, we're gonna do something a little different. Inhale, exhale, curl back again. Now we're gonna lift our right arm and right leg, then our left arm and left leg. And then put down your left arm and left leg, right arm and right leg. Okay, lift right arm and right leg again, left arm and left leg. Put down your left arm and left leg and return right arm and right leg. Now lift left leg and left arm, right leg and right arm, turning the right side and the left side. And again, left side lifts, right side lifts, left side returns, right side returns. One more time, right side lifts, left side lifts, right side returns, left side returns, left side lifts, right side lifts, left side returns, Right side returns and come up. Is that hard? <laughs> okay, straighten your legs out in front. Your arms a break. Okay, we're gonna do one more fun thing. All right, so bring your arms forward, inhale, and then curl back on your exhale, just again to, to that place where you can hang out, right? And now our right leg's gonna lift as we rotate arms to the right. So you do a twist to the right, come back as you lower that leg, lift your left leg, turn to the left and bring it back. And again, right leg lifts, rotate to the right and return. Left leg lifts, rotate to the left and return. Now opposite, right leg lifts, rotate to the left and return. Left leg lifts, rotate to the right and return one more time each side. Right leg left, arms to the left and return. Left leg, arms to the right and return. And go ahead and come up. It's harder for me than it is for you. <laughs> you know that saying, this is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me. <laughs> it's harder for me. Okay, so let's, um, Let's do a little bit of rolling up and down. So if you wanna use your weights, just for a little, <laughs> let go of the brain. Okay, so if you wanna use your weights, you can. If you like the rolling by your side, you can do that, right? So just a couple, few more. Inhale, exhale, roll back. 
I kind of like it with the weights. Good. Inhale, exhale, roll back up. But however you like to do roll-ups, right? Just do a couple more. So exhaling back. Good. Inhale, exhale up. We gotta give our brain a break. <laughs> But like I said, if you find this challenging, that just means it's what you need to do. It's really good for you. <laughs> okay, one more. All right, and then we're gonna come on to our side. So you just need one weight. <clears throat> And find your, actually, let's start laying on our arm with our arm by our, on our legs. So we're in a straight line and legs glued together. Inhale. As you exhale, reach, slide your arms toward your feet, float those legs up. So we're sort of reaching for our feet, lift the arm up, lower back to the legs and float down. Good. Inhale, exhale, slide toward the feet as the legs lift. Lift the arm up to the ceiling, load it back down, and lower down. Inhale, exhale one more time. Slide that arm as you float your legs. Lift the arm. Let your arm float back down, and let your legs float back down. Great. And then we're going to come on to our elbow. Bend your knees so that they're stacked and you have that half bend. Heels lined up with our tailbone, elbow under our shoulder. You can use a weight or not. As like I mentioned, you don't have to use weight. We're gonna bring our arm, elbow out from our shoulder, forearm parallel to the ground, pressing into the ground with that elbow. Okay, so lift the knee as you lift the arm. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. So our top heel is pressing into our bottom heel to open and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Try to keep the elbow in line with the shoulder. That's probably the hardest part. <laughs> Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good. Keep your leg closed. Lift your elbow so that arm is pointing upwards, stretch your leg down as you stretch your arm up and close and reach and bend and stretch and bend. Again, trying to keep your arm in the right position is the most challenging part. Okay, and then with our foot flex, we're gonna stretch our legs slightly back, right? Just a little bit behind us as we reach up. If your neck is really feeling this, you might move it around, kind of look around, because I know it can get to the neck. Good. Good, one more time stretching back, and then you're gonna stretch your legs straight down the mat again. Lift the leg, arm toward leg, and lift. Exhale as you bring arm and leg together. Now exhale and breathe. Good. And breathe. <laughs> and the leg doesn't have to lift very high, obviously, right? Because we're up on our elbow. Doesn't have to be a very big movement. Good. Go ahead and relax your leg. Let it bend. Bring your arm down. We're going to slide back down onto our arm. And here's where you might want a rolling weight. You're gonna stretch your top leg out with your arm rest, your hand resting on your weight. You're gonna kick forward as you inhale, and you're gonna stretch back as you exhale and roll the weight away. And return, inhale, kick. Exhale, roll the weight as you stretch back. And return, inhale, kick. Exhale, roll. Good. So we're getting to that little spiraling motion as we reach away. And kick. And reach. 
One more. Breathe, exhale, reach. Good. And then coming back to our start position, relax your legs. Go ahead and bring your bottom arm in front of you. So lined up with our chest, right out from our chest. And you can just let go of your weight. Stretch your top hand past your bottom hand. Circle over your head. Follow that arm back. Feel free to let your elbow bend or even put your hand on your shoulder if you need to. So we're slowly coming up and around, following that arm. And then we're going to continue our circle all the way around. Back, right? And again, reach, circling over the head, following that arm back. And circle all the way around. And then go two circles the other direction. So the arm's gonna go down by our hip. We're gonna turn and follow that arm around and all the way back. Two slow circles that way. All right, and then when you come around to your start position, come onto your back and cross your back leg, the top leg on top, so that, you know, the, way, the leg you just worked. <laughs> and you're just gonna press your hips up, come into a bridge here. There, foot across, across that thigh. Good, I'm gonna relax that leg. And go ahead and release the hips down. And then reach through as you lift that leg, draw it in for a stretch. So you can press your elbow against your leg if you want, or you can straighten and bend if you want. Ever feels good to you to get a little stretch here. And then we'll bring our foot back down. Keep the leg crossed over though. Arms out from your shoulders. Sway your knees over to the side that your top foot is going to come all the way onto the ground. So if your right leg is on top, you, you sway to the left. So that knee is up, foot comes down, shoulders on the ground. And lift the legs, sway them over to the other side. So the knee comes toward the ground. That's a nice stretch for the front of our hip, hip flexors. At least it feels good to me. <laughs> and lift back up. And we're gonna just grab hold of that leg that's on top and use it to help us up, right? Straighten the leg and roll up. And then we'll come around to our other side. So taking your weight, you have two like me, you have one of each. <laughs> okay, so starting with our body in a straight line, arm on our leg, legs glued together, inhale. As you exhale, stretch for your feet, float your legs up. Lift the arm and the arm floats down and we float all the way down. Inhale, exhale, reach, float the legs and lift. So we're pressing ourselves up a little bit. Float that arm down. Legs are glued together and relax. Inhale, exhale, float up as you reach and lift. And lowering the arm and everything down. One more. Nice deep breath. Exhale up. And lift. Arm floats down. And relax down. I think that's the same number we did. Okay. Bend the knees. Bring your uh, to a half bend. Come up onto your elbow. Heels line up with the tailbone. Knees stacked. 
Yep, stacked right. Find your position so that you feel like your alignment's right with your elbow and everything. And then we'll bring our arm forward like that. Whoops, elbow in line with shoulder. <laughs> lift the knee, lift the arm and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Pressing that top heel into the bottom heel. Try to keep my, I can see that my arm, this is the hardest part, is keeping your arm in the right position. <laughs> Inhale, open. Because you want to externally rotate the shoulder as we open. And close. Inhale and exhale. And try to remember to keep your arm in the mat that's really pressing into the mat to support you, right? All right, keep your leg down, arm lifts, stretch down the mat and pull it back in, reach and bend. Inhale, exhale. You might move your head around or move the head around and see what position does my neck enjoy the most? Reach. <laughs> Good. and reach. Oh, and then flexing the foot, pressing slightly to the back, right? Inhale, exhale. You can breathe either way. You can exhale as you close or, or press it out. Doesn't matter as long as you're breathing. Good, as long as you breathe with the movement. All right, then bring the legs straight down the mat again. Lift and return. Again, the leg doesn't have to lift very high. Just a little movement. Breathe. All right, last one. And let your leg relax, let your arm come down, slide back down onto the mat with your hand on a rolling weight here. Stretch that top leg, flex the foot, inhale, kick forward, exhale, stretch back as you roll the weight away, bring everything back, inhale, kick, exhale, stretch away and return. Inhale and exhale. And return. Inhale, kick, exhale, reach. Return. Good. A couple more. Still a nice stretch in our shoulder, hopefully, as well as our leg, right? And reach. Good, and then we bring it back, relax your legs together, bring your arms in front of your chest for the pinwheel. We reach our top arm, we circle it slowly overhead and follow it back, letting the elbow bend if it wants to. You could even put your hand on your shoulder, like I said, if it's tricky for you, and then circle all the way around. Because for me, that works best on this side, right? So you might need to shorten your lever by putting your hand on your shoulder. Take a nice big slow circle around. And then we'll take a couple circles the other direction, right? Reach down to the hip, follow that arm back, and around, overhead. Breathe. It's such a nice stretch. I think everybody agrees with that. This one. <laughs> uh, and then when we finish our circles, we're going to just roll onto our back and that back leg crosses over um, above ankle, above knee here, arms by your side, press your hips up. Take a couple breaths here, letting that leg relax. Good. And exhale back down, lift your legs, reach through, grab hold 
of your thigh or your shin, wherever you like to, to stretch this hip. You can do it however feels good to you. You wanna straighten and bend the leg. Or curl up and kind of stretch your legs towards you. I like to do that, kind of make yourself into a ball and pull your legs in. And then we'll bring our foot down, arms out from our shoulders. And the foot that's on top, we sway that direction till that foot comes down, hopefully. <laughs> and let your shoulders stay on the mat. Take a couple breaths. And lifting the leg, swing him the other direction. Knee toward the ground. And taking a couple breaths here. All right, and lifting the legs up. We'll, again, you might wanna just grab hold behind that thigh, right, of the leg that's on top to help you up, straighten the leg, or however you wanna come up. And we're gonna come onto our all fours with our weights. You might need uh, rolling and non-rolling if you're like me and you have both. Um, okay, so start with our rolling weight under your left hand. Find your hands under your shoulders. Again, any padding that you want, want to use under your hands or knees. Put your left hand on your weight and see where does that right hand need to go. So your arm is, your hands are up, your hands right on top like that. So we're going to reach our right leg back. And we're going to lift that leg as we roll the weight out and lift our chest. Right? Look forward. And then we're gonna roll the weight back as we draw our knee in, curl around, right? So reach it out and lift as that weight rolls away. And exhale, draw the knee in, roll it back. And reach it out to lift and exhale. Inhale, reach it out and lift. Last one and exhale. Now curl in and bring your knee down, switch to the right hand on the weight, find where your left hand needs to be, stretch your left leg out. And again, we're gonna inhale as we lift that leg, look forward, exhale, curl it in as you pull the weight back, roll it out a little bit. The weight doesn't move very much, right? You just have your hand on it as you're doing this little rounding and arching of our back. Roll it out as you lift and roll it in as you curl in. Breathe. Curl and reach and lift and curl in. And then bring your knee on the mat. We're gonna go back to our left arm, left left hand, and we're gonna stretch your right leg back, stretch your left hand out, and you're touching the ground, right? And we're just gonna lift and lower. So lift the arm, lift the leg, and touch down, and lift and lower, and lift. Keep your head lifted. Don't let your head drop, because that might hurt your neck, right? And lift, and breathe. Opposite arm and leg, lift. Touch down, lift. Now stay here. Bring your arm alongside your body with your weight facing your hip, like that. Okay, just alongside you. Now we're gonna lift that right leg, bend your knee. <laughs> Hopefully you, this makes sense, okay? And you're gonna pulse your foot and your arm upward. Just little pulses. Pulse your foot toward the ceiling. Pulse your arm up, little tiny pulse, and breathe. Good. 
Good, everything back down to the mat. You might stretch back onto your heels if you want a little break before we go to the other side. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be bringing our right hand with the weight. Find where your left hand wants to go, left leg stretches back. Okay, reach it out and you're gonna lift and touch down. Straight up and straight down. Straight up and straight down. Exhale as you lift. Now stay here when you're touching down. Bring your arm alongside your hip again with your weight facing your hip. Lift your left leg, bend your knee, flex your foot. You're gonna pulse up, little pulses upward. Very small, right? Just, just even holding it there is enough, right? Just a little pulse, breathe. Good, and bring everything to the mat. Go ahead and stretch back onto your heels. Be glad I didn't make you do the same side. That would have been really hard. <laughs> we just did opposites. <laughs> okay, take a little stretch. And then we'll come onto our belly with our rolling weights. You have them. <laughs> Bring your arms, your weights away from you with your arms in a V, wide V, so they're a little wider than the shoulders, right? Base of the hand on the way. Okay. Legs, however far apart they wanna be. Looking down, inhale. As you exhale, draw your shoulder blades down, roll the weights in, lift up, and back out. Okay. Inhale, exhale, shoulder blades draw down, and we pull the weights in, and back out. Add lifting one leg. So we're gonna pull the weights in, lift the left leg a little bit and roll it out. And pull the weights, roll the weights in as we lift our right leg and back out. Just keep alternating. So shoulder blades draw down as we roll it in and lift our left leg and back out. Shoulder blades draw down as we lift right leg. Good, last one. And back out. Stay here with your hands resting on your waves. Inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna reach your right arm and right leg. Same side arm and leg and lower down. Reach and lift your left arm and left leg and lower down. We're back to same side opposite. Okay, right side, reach and lift. And lower down, left arm, left leg, reach and lift, lower down, switch to opposite, right arm, left leg, reach and lift, left arm, right leg, reach and lift, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, back to same side, right arm, right leg, lower down, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, Left arm, left leg. One more time on the opposite. So right arm, right, left leg and lower. Left arm, right leg and lower. Right arm, left leg and lower. Left arm, right leg and lower. Good, relax. Keep your hands on the weights. And we're gonna go back to roll those weights in towards you as you lift up. Relaxing your legs, roll it back out. One more time, roll it in, lift up, and roll it back out. Okay, so you can bring yourself up to your knees and we'll stretch back onto our heels for a moment.
All right, and the last thing we're going to do, if you're still with me, <laughs> you may not be. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do, is we're going to bring our legs into a straddle. Again, you can bring your feet together. So it's a long-legged butterfly thing. Bring one, bring your weights. Yeah, we need both weights for this. So we're just going to do saw. So lift the sits bones, and we're just going to do saw with the weights. Right, so sitting tall, you can do it like this. You're gonna rotate over, anchoring your sits bones, put the weight just outside of that leg, roll it towards your foot, roll it back in and lift up, center, inhale, exhale as you roll that weight away, just outside of your leg, roll it back and pick it up. So anchoring our hips, and you might just rest your back arm on the ground or you might reach it away from your front arm. It doesn't matter. Whatever works for you, right? So you can just stretch and lift. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale and And then whenever you feel stretched out, you're even on both sides, just let your arms relax down, releasing the weights. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. I'm going to go ahead and hit the button here.